Hello everyone, it's me, Drella, the creator of Fallen from Grace and this channel. I am here to introduce and explain a few things about this Minecraft roleplay series, Fallen from Grace. To start, I am so excited to finally share this roleplay with everyone. I have been planning this since I was young and finally had the chance to do it. I also want to mention the quality of the work itself. I am a beginner and learning everything by myself with the help of YouTube as I go. I know as I go through the series, I will only get better. Stick around and see. So the first episode will be really wonky. I am pretty much a one-man team. Please be patient. I am always working on more episodes. And thank you to my sister for supporting me through everything. I hope everyone loves this series as much as I love making it. Thank you for watching Fallen from Grace. Honey, lay back down. <coughs> hey, hey, calm down. You're going to be all right. Where am I and who are you? It's okay. You're safe what? now. Can you please tell me who you are and where you're coming from? Jella, <coughs> I think. You think? I can't remember. I, I, I don't remember, but it sounds right. Mm, you are pretty banged up. Can you at least recall what happened before Sir Flay found you? No. 
Okay then, Drella, you should get some rest. In a little bit, I'm going to bring in the head guard Phil to ask you some questions while I change your bandages. Try to get some sleep. It sounds like you really need it. Thank you. So, I'm no doctor, and I'm not sure exactly what's wrong with you, but I'll do my best to pass you up. I'm sorry, but this may sting. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Lady Maria, I have the clothes you've requested. Huh? Sir uh, Flight! How dare you walk into a um, lady's room without knocking! Pardon me, but I did knock. Uh, Flight! LEAVE! Uh, yes, of course, excuse me. I will leave the garments here. I have half of mine just to- Maria? Hmm? Your name is Maria? Oh, yes it is. Maria? Where am I? You, darling, are in the village of Winsbrook. I- don't know where that is. Oh, I'm not surprised at all, dear. This village is basically abandoned. I mean, some people say that warriors used to visit this village, so I think it'd be more busy. Maria, I'm scared. It seems as if you went through a lot. Poor thing. It's okay, I don't know what you went through, but whatever it was, you are safe now. I can't remember anything, I'm so scared. Well, maybe it's a thing doctors call amnesia? Well, I'm done with your bandages. So, if it's too tight, just let me know. Thank you, Maria. It's no problem. There is no way I would turn a blind eye to a little Missy in need. What am I supposed to do now? That is something for you to find out. But in the meantime, I asked Flate to drop off some clothes for you to wear. They are probably not the best, but they'll do. So once you feel ready, why don't you get yourself dressed, and I'll go get the head guard Phil. Thank you. Jella, it's me, Maria. I'm coming and I brought Sir Phil. Whoa, whoa. Slow down, dear. <coughs> ah, right. Phil, this is Jella. Jella, this is Sir Phil, the head guard. Hello, sir. Yes, now tell me what the hell kind of ruckus was that? And what did you do to the tree on the outskirts of town? Because I know you had something to do with it. Don't you think she's gone through enough? 
Maria, I am the head guard here. You have no ground to question me or my actions. Now, I will continue my questioning, and if you keep being a hindrance into this interrogation, I will have to ask you to leave. So do I make myself clear, Maria? Yes, Phil. Now, Drala, what business do you have here in Winsbrook? I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? I don't know where I am or how I got here. That makes absolutely no sense. As I told you on the way here, she doesn't remember anything. Then, where do you reside? I don't know. Like I'm supposed to believe that. At this pace, I'm not going to get anywhere. If I find out for whatever reason you are lying to me, there will be hell to pay. If you really don't remember anything, then you are no use to me. Do what you want. I couldn't care less. So when you have your things ready, leave this village. But Sir Phil, where will she go? That is none of my concern, Maria. You can't just let a little lady who has no idea who, where she is, let alone who she is, fend for herself. Maria, that's enough. I've already allowed one monster into this village. I'm not going to let another in. So I expect to see you out by the end of the day. Yes, sir. Phil, let me talk to William and Ruth about letting her stay here. No, Maria. That's enough. Phil, if she does anything, it will be on my hands. Besides, you're giving her a death sentence if you send her out like this. She doesn't have a clue where she comes from, so where will she go? I doubt she knows anything about what's even happening in the world. It is so dangerous for her to go out into the forest all by herself. What about the bandits? Please, Sir Phil, do it for me. If I agreed to this, that makes her your responsibility. Thank you so much, Phil! I'm leaving. I need to report this to the Lord. Oh. Great. <sighs> Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to go grab Ruth really quick. Can you please meet me in the hallway, sweetie? Yes. Okay, okay. So this is the one that's been causing all the chaos? And not only that, you want her to stay here? Why would I ever agree to that? Well, Ruth, Miss Drella here can help you around with the inn. Like, with cleaning, maybe even some cooking? If I do agree to this little agreement, then I'm going to make her work hard for this. You know what? If this is going to be happening, then you will also be doing the laundry. Ruth, don't you think you're being a little harsh? Hell no! If she's going to be staying here, she's going to earn it. Also, she's going to be paying off her debt. What debt? Do you know how many supplies we've wasted on her since she's entered this village? The medical supplies, the blood-soaked sheets, and the room she's taken up that could have gone to a guest. 
What guess? What did you say? Nothing. Anyways, why would I let her stay here? What if she's a hussy and tries to seduce my husband? We both know it would be the other way around, Ruth. Hmm. Anyways, does she look like she would do anything like that? Huh? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing at all. How old are you? Seventeen, I think. Hmm, okay. So, what do you say, Ruth? Ruth? <laughs> what? Oh, sure. Should we start a tour of the inn, then? <sighs> Let's just follow her. This is the check-in area. You will not be working here because I don't trust you to take the money and run. Run where? <laughs> Why don't you just show her around yourself? Because this ain't my inn? This is the dining hall. The guests can come here to have breakfast, supper, or do whatever. I really don't give two flying craps as long as we're getting our coin. Come. Watch your step. I don't want you breaking your nose and getting blood everywhere. Must be talking about the Lord. Yes, that lousy pig. The only good thing about him is his coin. Do you mean the money he takes from all of the villagers? Oh no, I'm perfectly fine. I do favors for him. Favors? Yes, for instance, uh... just happened nothing for you to worry about um anywho why don't we continue the tour fine <sighs> this is the kitchen this is where all the cooking will be done what's over there oh that that's my room and when i'm in there you are not to disturb us and you are absolutely not allowed to step foot in there, no matter what. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? What are you hiding in there? <laughs> A dead body? No. Well, I don't like the tone you said that in. Let's continue the tour. I don't like you two wasting my time. Okay. We're going upstairs to where the rooms are. Ruth? What? Why didn't we just start there with the tour? I wanted to save the best for last. And what do you mean by that? Hold on, jeez.
as you already know, these are the rooms that the guests stay in. But if you follow me back over here, I swear we're just walking in circles. This is going to be your room. As you see, this also serves as a storage closet. Ruth, what is this? Wait, did you actually think I was going to give her a room? <laughs> no. Seriously, Ruth, a storage closet? Are you out of your mind? Do you have no empathy at all? She's going to be working for you and you give her a storage closet. Maria, like I said, the rooms are for guests. I never said anything about her staying in one of the rooms. Besides, there's a sleeping bag in one of the crates. Crates? That's not the point. No person should be forced to live in a closet. It's not like I'm forcing her to stay here. Yes, I know, but still, a closet out of all places? Would you rather her not stay here at all? No. Then, was that everything? Because it's getting late and if I have to deal with you two any longer, I'm going to go mad. I'm also not going to be answering any more questions, they can wait till the morning. Now, I need my beauty sleep. She sure does. <sighs> bye, bye. <sighs> Gosh, she's such a pain to deal with. Oh, gods. This is worse than I expected. Does she have no human decency? It's okay, Maria. I can sleep here. I know, it's just cruel. It's getting pretty late. Okay, listen here, Drella. In the morning, I'm going to swing by, pick you up, so I can give you a tour of the village. But, for that to happen, I need you to try and get some rest. You still need it to get better. What about Ruth? Oh, I'll deal with her nonsense. So, get some sleep, sweetie. Okay? Okay. Thank you. See you tomorrow, Drella. Bye. Bye, Maria.